Waking up every two hours and rocking your baby back to sleep can get so exhausting. Maybe it wasn't so bad for the first couple months of your baby's life, but now that your baby is a little bit older, you might be ready to get more sleep for the entire family. So stay tuned in this video and you will learn about my top sleep training methods for ages six to 24 months. I'm Missy, your pediatric sleep coach and potty training consultant. If you're interested in those topics, then make sure you click subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. So if you've done some research on sleep training, then you know that there are so many methods out there that can be effective for your child. But Google can be so overwhelming and intimidating when there's so much information. So if you're okay with hearing some crying from your child, then this video is for you. If you're more interested in gentle sleep training methods, then check out this video over here. No matter what sleep training method you use, you need to make sure that you have a proper bedtime routine. That means a 20 to 30 minute calming routine in your child's bedroom before you lay them down. And every time you lay your child down for sleep, you need to make sure that they are awake. Drowsy, but awake. So that means that they're ready to go to sleep, but they're not falling asleep in your arms. So let's jump into my top three sleep training methods for ages six to 24 months. So the first method we're going to talk about is the shush pat or the pick up put down method. A lot of families will use these methods in combination because they really complement each other. But basically once you put your child down to sleep, if they start crying, it's okay to try and rub their back and say shh, shh and pat their back or their tush. Of course you're putting your baby down to sleep on their back, but if they roll over, then it's okay to pat them on their tush. If after a few seconds, if that does not seem to calm your child down, you can pick them up. As soon as your child is calm and stops crying, you need to put them down. It is exactly what it sounds like. So you're going to start with saying shh and patting, and if it doesn't work and they start to escalate, then you may pick them up, and once they stop crying, you put them down. Shush pat, pick up, put down. The goal of this method is that your child is being soothed and comfort with your presence in the bedroom as they're falling asleep, but that they are breaking the association of being held to sleep. If you have questions about this method, please leave them in the comments down below and I will answer your questions. Moving on to method number two is chair in the room. This is a very popular method for parents who want to be in the room as their child is falling asleep, but they would prefer to be more hands off. So it is exactly what it sounds like. Once you put your child down to bed, you just have a chair in the room and you sit there until your child falls asleep. Um, it doesn't have to be a chair. It can be a pillow or if you're just comfortable sitting on the floor, that is fine too. As long as it's consistent and you're sitting on the same thing every single night. But what you want to do is move your chair further away from your child every couple of nights as they get used to falling asleep on their own. If your child starts crying, in this case, what you wanna do is use verbal affirmations and telling your child, it's okay, mommy's here, daddy's here, whoever's here, but you can fall asleep on your own. It's night-night time. If they do continue crying and it's escalating, it's okay to put your hand on your child and try and rock them side to side to help them calm down. As soon as they're calm, you need to remove your hand so that your child is falling asleep independently. As the nights progress and you are moving your chair further away from your child's bed, you want to eventually have your chair outside of the child's bedroom so that he or she is falling asleep on his own. As soon as your chair is outside the bedroom, then you know that you have been successful and your child can now fall asleep independently. The third method that we're going to talk about is probably the quickest results and this is called quick checks. So what you're going to do is exactly what it sounds like. You are going to put your child down for bed and this time you're leaving the room and closing the door behind you, but when your child cries, it's okay to go in and check on them. This way your child knows that you are still there when they need you, but that you are not in the room with them as they're falling asleep. Once your child develops object permanence and they know that just because you've walked away that you still exist, this method is going to be the most successful for your child because as opposed to seeing you in the room and having you not rock them to sleep, that may make them more angry. So doing quick checks might actually be more helpful in the long run. With this method, I encourage parents to choose the interval of time that they're okay with and that they're comfortable with leaving their child 
So it may be 10 minutes and it may be 20 minutes. It really just depends on the parent and their child and their child's temperament. But using those increments and you know really just going in and checking on your child whenever a parent really feels the need to really allows the child to calm down and be soothed by their parent but that they're still falling asleep independently. So those are my top three methods on sleep training your six to 24 month old. So to recap that method number one was the pick up put down slash shush pat method. Number two was the chair in the room and number three was the quick checks. If you have any questions about these methods, feel free to leave a comment down below and I am happy to answer your questions. If you're ready to get started on getting a better night's sleep starting tonight, you can download my free baby sleep download. In this free sleep guide, there is so much information on how to help your child fall asleep independently and get more sleep. If you enjoyed this video, take a screenshot here and share it with your friends. Make sure you tag me when you share this video so that I can reshare your share. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos that I put out and I will see you next time. Bye. How's that song go? As you can tell, I need to like hype myself up. Energy. Physical, a physical, a physical, physical, physical. What else do I need to say? Have I said it all? Stay tuned. Stay tuned for the bloopers. I think that I found myself a cheerleader. That's how it goes.